Hello, and welcome to another This Month in Datadog. My name is Jeremy, and I'm the Director of Technical Community and Open Source. As we roll into summer, Datadog has been hard at work. As always, we'll update you on our latest features, product announcements, events, and more. And now, This Month in Datadog. Log management adds new visualizations and features. New visualizations, quick filters, and additional capabilities in log management will help you get even more value from your logs. Use the new pie chart visualization to make data comparisons at a glance, especially with only a handful of values to display. Use the new tree map visualization that displays log data in nested rectangles arranged in an intuitive visual layout that's easy to interpret. And here's a brief rundown of the additional capabilities recently added to Datadog Log Management. Datadog Agent officially supports OpenTelemetry protocol. With native support for OTLP, the Datadog Agent now enables you to get deep visibility into your OpenTelemetry instrumented applications without updating your code or migrating away from your existing workflows. New APM service page. With access to more telemetry and insights, the APM service page provides a comprehensive overview of your service and helps you quickly drill down to diagnose and investigate issues. Along with summary cards that highlight faulty deployments, new issues, SLOs, and incidents, the service page now features integrated error tracking, traces, log patterns, and code profiles. That was just a few of the many new features we released this month. For the full list of features, visit the link below. This month in the spotlight, we'll hear from John, our product manager for all things Kubernetes. Thanks, Jeremy. Hi, my name is John Kendall, and I'm a product manager here at Datadog focused on containers. Kubernetes is a complex system that includes a wide range of resources that work together to make scaling your applications easy. And with live containers, Datadog has been offering real-time visibility into your Kubernetes environments for years and has helped companies debug complex issues in production thanks to its detailed view of Kubernetes resources, including pods, deployments, services, and more recently, storage and access control. And thanks to Datadog's end-to-end -end observability, your teams can make insights across your technology stack. For example, a developer can trace their app using APM and correlate with what's executing with your container infrastructure, all in the same window. And as large enterprises adopt Kubernetes, we are hearing from you, our customers, that it is becoming more difficult to onboard new application developers because they are often not familiar with the Kubernetes internals. And one of the key aspects in learning how Kubernetes works and debugging potential issues at that level is understanding how different resources are linked together. And that is why I'm excited to introduce to you today the new Related Resources Map. It gives you a real-time view of the relationships between your actual Kubernetes resources, helping your teams, your developers, understand Kubernetes resource dependencies and directly navigate between them. For example, you can see how your actual deployments depend on replica sets and directly navigate to those pods and associated containers. In addition, the related resources map can also help you answer a number of common troubleshooting questions such as ensuring access control for a cluster is properly set or sanity checking that your pods are correctly mapped to a service, all without having to use the command line using kubectl and having to manually dig through YAML files. Live Containers is generally available for all infrastructure monitoring customers and with related resources map in public beta. For more information about Kubernetes monitoring with Datadog, visit the link below. Back to you, Jeremy. Thanks, John. This month, we also have a few additional announcements. How we built Husky, Datadog's petabyte scale event storage system. Visit this blog post for the story of Husky, a new event storage system we built at Datadog, which rethinks our storage stack from the ground up. See how migrating to Husky improved reliability, performance, and efficiency. Read our latest research in the 2022 State of Serverless Report. Serverless has transformed application development by eliminating the need to provision and manage any underlying infrastructure. 
The current serverless ecosystem has grown more mature and is now has considerable overlap with the world of container-based technologies. The wide range of available options has also led over half of organizations operating in each cloud to adopt serverless. Read the full report to explore trends within the serverless landscape. We're excited to announce the return of Dash to New York on October 18th and 19th. This year, we're taking over the Javits Center and we can't wait to see you there. Join us for two days full of hands-on workshops, breakout sessions, product announcements, networking, and more. Learn from industry leaders as they share how monitoring and observability is helping to scale the next generation of applications, infrastructure, security, and technical teams. Visit dashcon.io for more information. That wraps up this month's episode. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. See you next month.